Hello everyone and welcome to the Selenium with Python series. In this particular tutorial, we will learn to automate the checkboxes. So let's begin. Checkboxes are the one of the common functionalities we have in the web applications. Now for this particular tutorial, I will be using this particular demo site. Let me copy this one. Let's go to the browser here and open this URL. So this is a form basically and in this particular form, we have this checkboxes. So there are around seven checkboxes here. So it contains the D's. So now in order to automate this one, the, the, the simple approach is that using the click, we can click each of these ones and then again, click on this one to uncheck this one. And the second approach is that we can use the space bar or the keyboard to select or uncheck or check this one. Okay. So there are two ways. Now, Let's go to the Python here and let me create a one new file and I'm naming it as ring check boxes. Okay. The first thing is that we need to import a web driver from the Selenium. So from Selenium import web driver okay and then selenium dot web driver dot common dot by then import the by because we will be using by in order to locate the element so first thing is that we need a web driver so browser equals to web driver dot firefox okay and now we need to navigate to this particular page so browser dot get method and inside this we will be passing the url so let's go here and copy the url from here and paste it here okay now we will uh, maximize this one so using the maximum window maximize window method here to maximize the window and once this is done so basically if we go here and so this uh, you know drop downs are a bit down here so let's try to scroll a bit here so that we can check these ones for this ones what we will be do is that we will be using a uh, javascript executor or executor so simply browser dot execute script and inside this one we need window dot scroll to and here we will go with the first thing is that zero so vertical and the horizontal things we need to do and the second thing is that document dot body dot scroll height okay so scroll height and we need to use the small bracket here then terminator and we are good to go so window dot scroll to zero comma document dot body dot scroll height so it will scroll the avail to the available height here okay and once we are done with this now what we need to do is that we will be finding all the checkboxes okay so uh, we, we can uh, you know select the single checkbox for that even go here and inspect this one and let me inspect this checkbox and using the selector sub let me copy the right of x path from here and let me go back here so browser dot find element by dot x path and we need to provide the export here okay so uh, if i go back here so we need 
use this one and now copy the X path from here and paste it here. Now once we do this, we need to click on this one. Okay. And after that, I will wait for five seconds so that we can see the execution here. So save this one and run this one again. And now it will go to the browser. It will max and scroll down. You see that. And now here it will select the Sunday here. Let's see what happens here. So seems like there's some problem. Let's see what is the issue here. So the issue is basically let's go here. We give an expired expression. Okay. Invalid selector exception. Okay. So uh, it's not driver dot find element. Uh, we need to pass X path value. So remove this complete one from here and let me go back here and we we just need a selector here we don't need a driver here right so the x part is basically the this part right so this is the x part so this one let me copy this one from here so the small brackets small brackets let me copy this one from here and then now I'll go here control F paste this one to check either this is valid or not so we need to remove this part from here we need to remove this bracket we need to remove this particular one here and we need to remove this one here so now if I enter this one so now it says one of one. So th this is our correct X path here. So let me copy this one and paste it here. So this is the correct one. And now uh, run this one again. This time it should work and it should go to this particular form. It should scroll down and then check the Sunday. So you see that Sunday is basically checked here. Now what I will do is here is that simply if I go back here and if i use this command again so i'm giving reducing this time to three and I, and if i use this so basically what i'm doing is that i'm clicking on this again and again i will wait for three seconds here so once i'll do this basically it will go and check the sunday then wait for the three seconds then uncheck this one because we know that if we click on this one it will check and if we click again it will uncheck this one so you see that it's uncheck the value from here okay now what we need to do is that for example we need to you know check all the checkboxes at once so how we can do this so let me remove this part of line now in order to check all the checkboxes i need to identify all the checkboxes on this particular web page so let me go to the browser again and let me show you something here. So if I inspect any of these checkboxes, so you will see that the tag is input and the type is checkbox. So if you hover any of this one or inspect any of this one, you will see that it's a input and type equals to checkbox. So based on this one, I will write a X path which will grab all the checkboxes. Okay. So I will create a variable here and I will leave it as checkboxes equals to browser dot find elements because there are more than one checkboxes so we need to go with the find elements okay and I will be using dot x path here and the value of the x path so this is simple double forward slash input then at the rate of the attributes type equals to the check box and here we need to close the large bracket okay so this is a simple x path i have written to get all the check boxes here so let me copy this one and let me go back here and 
here just control F and control V and hit enter so you see that we got one of seven so there are seven so basically it identify all the checkboxes so one two three four five six seven so this is the valid X path now we have all the check fields in this one so in order to select all of these ones or check all this all of these ones so what i need to do is that i need to iterate i need to loop in okay so that's really simple so for check box okay in check boxes and here check box dot is selected is selected then so basically inside the loop we need to check the condition as well so if the checkbox is selected okay then what i'll do is that okay so so before this one we'll do this later on so simply if the checkbox loop in into the checkboxes and simply checkbox dot send keys and here keys dot space so you can check using the click you can also check the checkbox using the space key on the keyboard so i'm using a space key here and now let's run this one and see what happens so it should go and check all the check boxes once it will check all the check boxes so what else we can do we can actually verify the count of the check boxes available on this particular page okay so you see that all the check boxes are checked here so using the loop you simply check all the check boxes instead of using the key store space i can also use the click method here as well okay so now uh, what i need to do is that uh, i'm creating one more variable here so checked underscore count equals to zero now your task is that you need to verify the count of the checkboxes available on this particular page for example your requirement is that there should be seven checkboxes now you need to verify this using this linear script okay so i have created a one variable and the initial value is zero now again i will loop in for checkbox in check boxes okay and now i will use if condition if check box dot is selected so if this is selected then because we we need to check after selection right so checked underscore count and I'm incrementing this value to one whenever this condition is true because in the in the previous loop we are actually have checked all the checkboxes so that's why I'm I'm using a condition here so if the checkbox is selected so based on that the increment should be done on the check count so increment of one should be done and this will loop till there's a false against this one okay and now uh, what I'll do is that I create one variable call expected underscore checked underscore count and we are expecting it was nine and simply i will go with another if condition if check count if check count is equals to expected check count then print here simply i'm printing here so you can assert the assert the, these values as well so check box count verified okay as what we can do is that as we say if this is not the case so simply go and print check box count mismatch okay and here what i'll do is that i will intentionally add some time dot 
silly so that we can see the executions here and finally i will be closing the browser here so browser dot close okay so now uh, our script is ready and let's run this one and see what happens here so basically uh, first we are actually checking all the checkboxes and then based on the how many checkboxes are already checked so based on this one we have the condition and based on the condition it will you know count how many checkboxes are checked here so here you see see that this is checkbox count mismatch and we are saying nine we are expecting nine however in actual there are seven we, we have already seen this one so for example if i change this to seven and now if i run this one so this time it should print the checkbox count verified so again it will go to the form here and it will check all the checkboxes here and seven checkboxes are checked so the count is seven so expected and actual count is equal now and you see that the checkbox check count is verified here so that's how you can actually work with the checkboxes thank you so much for watching this tutorial if you like our content then do like comment share and subscribe our channel once again thank you so much and see you in the next tutorial